years, the Prince of Wales has been working really hard on his Earthshot initiative. An initiative all about helping to make more sustainable products and helping to encourage people to be more sustainable to help save our planet. But how exactly is this prize helping to revolutionise the way that we help save the planet? Climate change is an incredibly massive problem and it's such a big problem that people are actually campaigning against it and have been for the past few decades. There are some massive problems that we are seeing all around the world that are a consequence of climate change. One of them is flooding. We've seen absolutely tons of flooding in the UK, abroad, stuff like that. Because of the you know, droughts sometimes, sometimes droughts cause flooding, or sometimes if there's just a really prolonged period of no rain, you know, the ground hardens up and then it doesn't really saturate it, you know, then that becomes a problem because when it rains, that water um, stays on top of the soil and floods. Yeah, and flooding um, can also sadly um, make people lose houses, people end up losing, you know, um, their local space, um, and some people sadly get affected by it seriously. Some people, I've heard of some people in floods sadly lose loved ones and it's absolutely devastating as are all the problems on this list that climate change is causing. Another massive and literally devastating thing that's happening around the, um, around the world at the moment. You may have heard that the king actually sent a um, letter to Nepal um, because they've had some absolutely devastating landslides and stuff like that. Um, and it's it's absolutely heartbreaking to see what landslides damage and the loss it can cause. Um, so I'm sending all my love and prayers to everyone in Nepal after that devastating landslide. I'm sending my condolences to all those in Nepal who've lost loved ones during this terrible landslide. It's just it's just devastating. But landslides are just around the world. They are just you know causing such a massive problem because it's to do with you know. Um, you know, sea can cause it if you live near the beach, um, you know, the sea can erode the land. Um, sometimes if you just have um, a period of rain, sometimes that can cause landslides as well. Landslides are just absolutely devastating because they cause so much devastation around the world. Another problem, probably more people in the medical field um, will be able to point this out, there is an increased amount of UV light. Now, UV light is emitted by the sun and usually we have that ozone layer around the planet that um, sort of re reflects most of the UV light. Now, because the ozone layer is being depleted, it was uh, more depleted when we had um, CFCs. They've CFCs are now um, being used less and less and less. Some countries have actually banned CFCs. The ozone layer is still being depleted by other things such as carbon dioxide and stuff like that, which is slowly depleting the ozone layer. And obviously some CFCs in some countries aren't banned, which means that CFCs are still going up into the atmosphere. And also CFCs are uh, very, they, they stay in the atmosphere for quite a long time. Now this can cause serious problems because it can cause increased skin cancers, it can cause, um, you know, um, cataracts, it's, it's um, a horrible thing. Obviously, adding on to that, you've got increased temperatures, which you'll find in countries um, with loads of droughts and stuff like that. And obviously that is a massive problem because people go without water, people will have to, um, you know, people can't drink water, people can't um, go anywhere. And sometimes the droughts can cause um, loss of crops, so that is also another terrible thing that is a consequence of climate change. And another consequence of climate change is wildfires. You see this in America, Australia. It's absolutely devastating. It was heartbreaking a couple of years ago when we were watching videos of people in Australia, these kind, selfless people, going into the fires um, and saving koalas and um, little animals and baby animals that were stuck to trees it's because they were, you know, their hands were all scarred from the burns. It was absolutely heartbreaking as it's absolutely devastating to see the damage that wildfires caused by increased amounts of heat and stuff can actually cause. Another increased problem around the world is plastic. Plastic and increased waste is a massive problem across the world. There is plastic being thrown into the sea, causing animals to eat plastic. Um, when it comes down to plastic, plastic bags are another problem, suffocate animals. Plastic is just, and also plastic has actually entered the food chain now, which is really dangerous because it's causing heart problems. It's, it's, all of these climate change problems are causing massive problems, not just to animals, not just to the environment, but also to humans. Because if we eat plastic, yes, it might pass through our body, absolutely fine. But sometimes it can cause serious effects on our body that we are not going to be able to know until 
um, a couple of years. Sometimes they come immediately. But sometimes it will take years for these problems that of us eating plastic from fish and stuff like that, that will actually take years to manifest. Now, when it comes down to the Earthshot initiative, I think that it's a very practical way of looking at how to change the climate and help to repair the planet. You know, it's a very practical way. And people do go out and campaign, which is helping raise awareness. And those people have so, I have so much respect for, especially if they're going around doing speeches and stuff like that and helping people to make a difference in their local community in the world and stuff. Now there is the other side of it where people do just go around vandalising stuff. I don't have respect for the people um, that are vandalising, making hate um, campaigns against other people, going around throwing litter everywhere and saying, oh yeah, we're not picking that up until you help our planet because they're literally just adding to the problem if you get what I'm saying. Like for instance, we've had people throw beans at things, vandalise Buckingham Palace. It's like you're adding problems to the planet. Those are the people that we should definitely ignore because they don't actually know how to help the planet. They are literally just vandalising stuff for the sake of vandalising stuff. The people we should be listening to are people uh, diligently campaigning and doing, make, and actually helping to make a difference in their local community and educating people. Those are the people we should listen to. The first shot prize is going the extra step than um, campaigners are doing. The extra step that Prince William is going where he's putting together people that are partnering with his campaign and partnering with his initiative to help make a difference in the world. Now he's brought together so many people over the last four years of this Earthshot initiative that are helping make a real difference in the community. There is loads and loads and loads if you go onto the Earthshot website and look at the people that have been nominated or people that have won. All of them are making solutions to our planet that are helping to make practical ways to make this world a more sustainable world and help to stop the um, destruction of climate change that is affecting people globally. Now the Prince of Wales is obviously a massive part in this. He did study the geography sort of stuff he knows about the planet. He's also inspired his children to sort of, um, you know, appreciate nature and learn about the world that they live in, which is really good because they're the next generation. He's really wanting to make um, a difference so that there is less climate change and so that people aren't as affected by these problems. And he thinks that the more we make sustainable energy or the more we make sustainable products, the more likely we are to stop plastic pollution, water pollution, you know, um, you know, flooding, droughts, landslides that are just hurting people globally. And I think that his way of doing the earth shot is a practical way and of, of revolutionising the way that we tackle climate change. The Earthshot Prize it is not just about the um, end goal, it's also about the journey and making people realise that we need to make sure there is more sustainable sustainability for the world. There you go, that is how the Prince of Wales Earthshot Initiative is going to be revolutionising the way that we help fight for our planet. Um, I hope you enjoyed that video, if you did smash the like button, also press subscribe and if you want to hear more about the Earthshot Prize make sure to go into the link in the description and go and have a look at their website and see what things you can maybe do in your local community. So there are a couple of people I'd like to shout out who are doing lots for the planet. Anish Wakanchala, he is helping, he's a young boy, um, he is helping to um, revolutionise the way that we look at the planet, he's helping to bring awareness of animals. He is helping to, uh, he's brilliantly helping to um, make adults aware that there is something we need to do. You know, we're, we are hurting our beautiful planet. And I agree with Anishwa, he's only young, but he's making a true difference out there. He's got a gold blue Peter badge, loads of Guinness World Records for his amazing climate work. And he's just an incredible young boy. So definitely go and give him a follow as well. He is making a true difference in the world at such a young age. So well done Anishwa. We love your work. You're, Amazing and keep it up. Well done. Right, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching everyone. Bye!